Hi, I'm Jonathan Lee, Associate Professor of Business Analytics and Finance at the Telford School of Management. Measuring investors' tolerance to risk plays a central role in the investment industry. When we fail to properly assess risk preference, we can lead clients to falsely believe that their investments are safe and that they can end up taking more risk than they can afford. This can be very dangerous for the financial system and lead to major crises such as the 2008 global financial crisis. Finance professionals today still rely on inefficient and narrow approaches to measure their clients' investment preferences. For instance, bank finance advisors often ask new clients a list of questions to assess their clients' investment preferences. But this traditional approach fails to account for an experience that's really subjective. My risk preference can be very different from the preference of a major corporation or people interested in investing in their retirement fund or their children's education. This approach is also inaccurate because it doesn't consider that the client might not know the answer to the question or that their answers might not represent well their real preferences. Investors often don't know which investment they would like to choose and how much they are willing to risk. On top of that, finance advisors can be limited by their ability to ask questions that really matter to their clients, or they may overestimate their client's risk tolerance. In my research, I develop an analytics model that helps determine a client's risk preference. Using machine learning and AI techniques as a basis, the model not only accounts for a client's feedback, but also considers client's investment history and the company's past performance in a complex and ever-changing market. If this analytics-driven model is applied in the industry, it will help both investors and professional advisors and ultimately improve the economic stability. The model can help clients hold finance advisors and institutions accountable for identifying investment opportunities that reflect their own preference. It could also help finance professionals, such as bank advisors, to better understand their clients' risk preference and provide recommendations that are more aligned with those preferences. This research overall will help innovate the financial industry and contribute to our vision for wealthier Canada.